Welcome back to Austin, Texas, y'all. It is day two on the excursion. We have got the Ranger in tow and we're stopping at First Watch for some breakfast or brunch, whatever you want to call it. It's like 12 noon. We took Zeke out for a little hike this morning. Uh, our pup <laughs> down here in Austin on some creeks. We saw some stuff we might fish with some micro rod setups. If you guys want to see that, let us know. But today, it's all about the big baits. We're probably going to throw some big baits out there with Jared. That's the stuff he likes to toss around and we have a lot of fun with it as well. We're going to get in here. Like I say, grab a bite to eat and get started. Let's have some fun and catch some fish today, boys. Just pulled up to the ramp and let me tell you what, it is windier than in the city. <laughs> 10 to 20 miles per hour says, man, check out this chop right here. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, the little aluminum is gonna have fun today, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, get her loaded up. Jared's on his way. Put your mind filming in case anything happens. <laughs> We're off-roading. Is it already recording? Yeah. She is choppy today. Yes, sir. Look at those waves look out at this there. Place. All right, look at it. Breaching the surface, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Got some baits on deck. So is this the old ramp right here? That one's too low. Okay. The rocks are too high. I got You'll you. drag bottom if you try to launch your boat there right now. Jeez. Yeah, normally the water is up. You can see where the rocks go. It's, it's the rocks, right? Yeah, it's still be all the way up past those rocks. Jared says whenever it's windy, man, he's had some of his best days out here. We're gonna go ahead. Devin just got the truck parked. Load up, fire up the GoPros. Audio might be a little whack today, y'all. <laughs> Enjoy the background music, I assume. And anyways, yeah, let's see what happens. All right, y'all, on this side of the lake, it is not near as breezy. We just booked it straight across from the ramp, essentially, and we are gonna try and cast out some big swim baits in the grass. Water temps are about 81 degrees. We're gonna switch the live scope into perspective mode, the reason being, because we're gonna stay kind of close to these reeds and cast out along the grass edge, either parallel or just out deep. And with that being said, the front of the boat is gonna be facing this direction where it's nice and shallow, so that perspective mode mount will show us if there's some fish kind of cruising in the shallows, and if we take a look at that, we might cast the other direction. Let's go ahead and get the lines in the water man. Oh, there goes a blow up out there halfway. There oh my god, good thing I just checked that drag. That was so loose. It's so weird how they're just super loose out of nowhere. Because sometimes you feel like it never, it never loosens up. And then out of nowhere it's just very loose. The next day. I had the one when it was like 20 feet prop, well, 15 feet maybe. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, shit. I let him get too much slack. He's not even on the hook anymore. No. <laughs> I need the varial handles. <laughs> Dang, he smacked it. Oh, my God. As soon as I set the hook, I lost my handle and I couldn't catch up. Like what? Like boat ramp. Yeah. I think. He wasn't ready. Don't step back. No way. Oh my gosh. First fish of the day comes pretty much. First fish of the day comes pretty much at night. <laughs> oh. Nicely done. First fish of the day at sunset. That's how you do it, blokes. Five hours later. 
On the drop, he Look says. At the size of the <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> That's funny. All right, this is the half hour, I, I think. Oh, got him. Yeah. Crankbait. Oh. oh, it's a slaunch. Oh. <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> All right. Dang. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I think he came off. No, he came off. That was nice. <laughs> Dang. They're starting to cruise the shallows. And yeah, that just about did it for Decker, man. We had such good fishing experiences on that lake in the past with Jared, uh, fishing by the kayaks, but this time we ventured over to the far side. It's a power plant lake. Uh, they've got a hot water runoff or whatever you call it. Hot, uh, what do they call it? They've got hot water discharging on the backside there that you saw in some of the drone footage. And uh, a lot of people say, go ahead and hit that little spot. And so we worked our way around there. There was another boater kind of in that little channel though. So we didn't hit that exactly. We worked the pads right around there. We worked so many grass edges. We worked the reeds. We fished out deep. We hit some humps, graft those. Jared's been told it's a prime spot for some bigger bass. Couldn't connect. I threw the spinner bait in the wind like you're told to do. We threw some bottom baits. And really the only hits we got was after hours hours and hours and hours of fishing as sun was setting at the dam. It was a very slow day of fishing, but we had a ton of fun getting out there with Jared again, throwing the big baits. You don't expect to get too many bites. I know I didn't even show a lot of footage of us throwing the battle shad and the citizens almost all day, but we were throwing a lot of the bigger baits, trying to connect with some of those larger bass that he's accustomed to catching out there, but we just couldn't get too many bites on the big baits. I think we had maybe four or five bites, but we didn't connect on the hook set. So. With that being said, we have a lot more awesome, awesome footage for you guys showcasing some waters that you have not seen on the channel yet. We hit some new lakes, we have a ton of fun, and we actually get on some fish. We do some more fishing with Grant Langmore as well, and so be looking out, man, because we got more headed your direction very soon. Go ahead and subscribe and drop a like if you haven't already, man. That's the end of this video. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.